sort of then, right at the very beginning, and, and obviously what we're doing now, and, and releasing our, our first ever movie. So it's very humbling. Emma from Newcastle, stand up. Emma. Oh, nice. Yeah, she's right there. There you go. <laughs> go. Of course. Wow. Of course. Who we do absolutely. Who we do it all the time on tour. <laughs> to be fair, I jump off a lot of high stuff, <laughs> so I would definitely run in front of a car and say something. It's not a problem. Would you jump out of a plane, for instance? Aston would catch. Aston would catch a grenade for anyone of you. He would. I probably He's would. good. <laughs> now we call him. We call him Aston Mars. Don't feel like Bruno Mars a little bit. Thank just a little, what do you wear that? Just a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Everyone in here just went, shut up, Mummy. <laughs> oh my God. That, that is now never going to be said again. Ever. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. It's fantastic. Uh, we have uh, Marissa. And uh, Marissa is from Glasgow. Have you, have, you, have you come away from Glasgow, Marissa? Are you Marissa? Ah, oh, hello, Marissa. Hello, Marissa. You want to ask your question? Would you like me to do it for you? Can I hug them on your behalf as well? No. no. <laughs> Still my hug. <laughs> Would you ever move to Newcastle? Oh, if anybody's got any room for us, I'm going to have to. Absolutely. So the answer is yes. I'm Absolutely. Ready. Absolutely. We're done with that one. Right, okay, we're done. We're moving it next week. Okay, we're looking for a place. Uh, Lauren Emerson. Lauren Emerson. Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Hello, Lauren. Do you want to ask your question? I can't see you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Sorry. That's a hard one. Wow. Well, we would still be going like we were before, I think. From before the show and before, you know, everything that's happened. But, um, yeah. I suppose if we weren't together, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be in this country, to be fair. My mum was shipping me off to America. You were gone? If it didn't work, yeah. Really? She was. She had me a one-way ticket plan and everything. If we didn't get through the first X Factor audition, she was going to send me home. So, yeah, that's, that's a lot of pressure there. It's, it's a lot, lot of pressure. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's all good. <laughs> Worked out for the best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was not bad. Yeah, that was so <laughs> right. uh, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia, is, is there just one Olivia here? We just have Olivia written down here. Yes! Hello. Hello, Olivia. Hello. <laughs> this is a really good question. Shall we have a look? Ooh. Yeah, famous people that knock you over. For, for, me, who I, for me, who I met that, I wasn't so starstruck, but really inspired by was uh, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas. Hold on, wait, wait, you met about five people in one day. That's true. When you met Will I Am. I met Will I Am, I, I met Diddy. I don't know why I met all these people. Um, but I was at the Adidas store in LA. And I was just getting my clothes, doing my thing. And suddenly Will I Am was like, just over there, getting putting on a jumper or something. And I went over and I said, Will I Am, what's up, what's up, what's good? And he said, oh, I'm just on the phone to Cheryl. I said, I know Cheryl. I know Cheryl from X Factor, right? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, say, JLS said, what's up? He said, oh, um... J T S said, I said, no, 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 it's not J, J T S, J L S, J L S. I said, Cheryl said, Arisha from J L S. I said, yeah, J T S says, what's up? I'll, I'll see you in a, in a minute. But anyway, we ended up talking for about two hours about the music industry, and he talked about, you know, how to make sure that you're consistently on it, doing things for charity, you know, make sure you're always reaching out to the fans, and, and you know, and just, and just staying tight as a group. And for me, that was amazing. Somebody who's part of one of the most successful groups of all time, the Black Eyed Peas. Dirty bit. <laughs> Dirty bit. Sorry. You couldn't resist. Could, you couldn't resist. Could ten, I just I was dying to do it for yeah, the last forty-five were. minutes. I really Sorry was. About that. Uh, Lucy, Lucy, stand up. Just Lucy. Where's Lucy? It's Lucy. No, it's definitely Lucy. Lucy. Uh, what's been your favourite performance up to now, Lucy? Do you recognise your question? Oh, this is just. Yeah. Oh, hello, Lucy. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm gonna have to say last night's performance with Diversity, just because it was a little bit different for us. Obviously, their choreographers choreography is slightly different to our choreography, and uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. So, um, yeah. I would have to say when we first came out of the X Factor, we did a club gig, 
and correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure it was in Newcastle. Yeah, 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 the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah the first was, club gig. It was supposed to be in Birmingham, but Newcastle crept in first and got it the night before, which I just loved for the fact that they just, you know, totally bumped Birmingham out of the way and just went, yeah, we'll take JLS. So that was, that was nice of them. Just uh, what, what you've answered on your performance thing, can you stop doing those backflips? Because I always just so scared you're going to land on your head. What? You should have seen rehearsal yesterday. Did you, uh, yeah, did you land on your head? <laughs> have you come close to landing on your head? Yeah. Oh. Feet, yeah come off the stage. Oh. Don't Sympathy. Don't <laughs> That's what rehearsals are for. Exactly. That's, okay. Alright. Got any, put it guys, the same question, but uh, favourite performance? Um, favourite performance, one of my favourite definitely has to be the Brit Award performance. I thought that was really unique, you know, I felt like we were in a kind of matrix kind of vibe. Um, and that was, yeah, that was amazing, so for me, was that. Uh, probably one of the that sticks out now is when we did the Michael Jackson week on The X Factor. Yeah, we done the way it made me feel. Uh, I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what I was going to ask now. Um, it was about... It was about your favourite performances. The diversity thing, are you going to... Someone's already asked you, how long were you rehearsing with diversity to do that routine? Because it about was... a day and a half, yeah. It was a 50-50 routine, wasn't it? I mean, it was, it was split, and it was, it was really intense. I mean, I could see where diversity ended and you guys began. I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty intense. Like, surely that was... Yeah. Must have had a few hours of rehearsal there, like, maybe... Yeah, it wasn't as long as we would have liked, you know, we would have liked to have five days with them, but obviously we've been really busy this week, and uh, we had like probably about a day and a half of them. About sort 10 of, hours. Yeah, about 10 hours, yeah, so, you know, we had to learn quick, and credit to Ashley, because, you know, Ashley did, you know, all of, his, all of their choreography and, and the, the dance break we did, and our choreographer worked with Ashley to teach them our stuff, uh, Leon who's in the film and uh, yeah, it worked out, it worked out great. It was a great buzz yesterday, you know, and Simon was there and when we were singing Everybody in Love, he had his hands in the air and he was clapping. Yeah, you lot can't see Simon, Simon was going. Yeah. Simon, <laughs> Simon was up. You can imagine him doing that, we were just like, Simon oh. loved it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, because we were saying yesterday as well, though that, I don't know if you guys know, but where they film Britain's Got Talent is exactly the same place where they film The X Factor. But it's, it's, it's kind of like a different buzz when you go there for The X Factor to Britain's Got Talent, it's like it's a different place. And I think the only continuity was having Simon sitting there, because obviously we don't really know the other three judges, but, you know, Simon sitting there is like having your dad watching you, you know? It was cool to, to have him back. But you don't get sort of a little scared, though, knowing that he's watching you, or you on, on that level where it, it's a different kind of relationship, because he's still scary. You know, with, Sim with Simon, he, he constantly expects us to deliver. You know, the last time we saw him, we were in America, and we uh, did a thing with Ryan Seacrest, right? Yeah. And uh, we sang a cappella for him, and he was like, you boys have got better. And we were like, thanks, Si. Do you know what I mean? He's proper taking interest in what we're doing. Um, and last night, he just had a smile on his face from the start to, to the end of the performance. And I don't think we've ever seen that. No. Sorry, I've just been given a time limit, so we're going to try and get through as many as we can. Gemma